Hello students, my name is Shayan Mitra, faculty member of Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering of Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management. Today, I am going to take in the class of Electromagnetic Wave EC501 is the code of this subject. So, let's start. Uh, today, uh, we will talk, we will be uh, talking about uh, different kind of coordinate system and its transformation. Uh, in the previous slides, in the previous lectures, I have described the Cartesian coordinate system and the circular cylindrical coordinate system. And this uh, lecture, I am going to uh, give a uh, lecture about the spherical coordinate system. How the spherical coordinate system works, uh, how uh, we can transform a spherical coordinate system into a Cartesian coordinate system or a Cartesian coordinate system in a spherical coordinate system. So, let's begin. Uh, first, the uh, spherical coordinate system. These are any point in space is represented as the intersection of three surfaces. A sphere of radius r from the origin. Using, using uh, From the origin, we will get a, uh, a sphere. If the r is constant, we will get a uh, sphere of radius r from the origin. This is the sphere. Uh, if the theta is constant, suppose the value theta is constant, which is uh, we will describe the value theta, uh, we will get the value theta from the z axis. From the uh, from the z axis, if we take an angle, uh, there the angle of the position vector r, which is uh, the position vector r is making an angle with uh, z axis and that angle will be theta now if theta is constant what will you get we will get a cone centered around the z axis if r is constant we will get a sphere of radius r from the origin now if theta is constant a cone centered around the z axis will be formed and when phi is equal to constant we will get a vertical plane now this value phi is very much similar to the circular cylindrical coordinates we get a we, we got a value of phi which is in the circular cylindrical coordinate system and we get a value of we, we, if the phi is constant for circular cylindrical coordinate system we will get a vertical plane and it is very much similar to the spherical coordinate in case of spherical coordinate if the value of phi which is known as azimuthal angle is constant we will get a vertical plane now any point in spherical coordinate system is considered to be at the intersection of the above three planes now these three planes when any point in spherical coordinate system is considered to be at the intersection of the above three planes now these three planes are one is a vertical uh, plane where phi is equal to constant we got a cone centered around the z axis this is the cone around the uh, center on the z axis and a sphere of radius r from the origin now at the intersection of these three uh, coordinates we will get the point p so let's go to the next slide this is the pictorial depiction of spherical coordinate this is the circle this is the x axis y axis and z axis and this is the value r it is nothing but but the position vector now we can extract the value of r using root over x square if we take a root over of the summation of the uh, square value or along the x axis y axis and z axis we will get the value of r this is the position vector and this value is nothing but the distance of the point p which is reside which is residing on the circular plane of this spherical coordinate the, the distance of the specific point which is which is residing on the circular plane uh, from the origin is the value of r and when phi is constant we get this the vertical plane now in case of when the theta is constant we get a spherical we get a circular uh, a, a, a circular plane where the theta is constant in case of phi is constant we get a vertical plane and when 
the r is constant in case of theta is constant we get a circular cone when the r is constant we get this specific plane a constant plane and when the phi is constant we get this vertical plane now the intersection of these three points we get the position of the point p okay. so let's go to the next slide now this is the spherical coordinates again now this is the r theta phi well the r the value of r will be ranges from 0 to 5 this is a position vector the value of r the lowest value of r, r will be 0 when the distance of r which is the distance of the point p from the origin will be 0 and it will be it can goes to infinity now the value of theta will be in between 0 to pi because it will be it will be circulating will be circulating around this plane so this will be at 180 180 degree that's why 0 to 5 and the value of phi will be will be circulating it will be circulating at this way so the value of phi can be from 0 to 2 pi now when phi is constant we will get a vertical plane that's why it, it a vertical a vertical plane can be surround it, it can be goes from 0 to 2 pi it, it could it could be it could be in 0 degree and it could be also in 360 degree it will be it means the value of phi when constant we get a vertical plane which can revolve in 360 now in case of theta we get a circular cone it will, it can only uh, rotate for from 0 to 180 degree and the value of r is a magnitude so it will be uh, uh, ranging from 0 to 5 so let's go to the next slide now this in case of spherical coordinate spherical coordinate three unit vectors of the spherical coordinate system are shown in this figure unit vector a suffix r this a suffix r vector lies along the radially outward direction to the spherical surface now suppose this is the spherical surface this is the now if we consider a football it's also sphere now the a suffix r lies along the radially outward direction to the spherical surface now this is the spherical surface now the a suffix r will be goes outward from that surface and it lies on the cone theta is equal to constant it it, it, it lies now it will be goes in this way we, now this straight line is in di is in is making an angle of theta with the z axis that's what uh, here what uh, it has been described that this vector is along it will goes lies along the radially outward direction to the spherical surface it lies on the cone theta which is constant or it could be changing that's for different variable and the plane phi is equals to constant when it means basically when theta is constant phi is constant at that point that a suffix r will be goes outward from the spherical surface now the unit vector a suffix theta is normal to the conical surface and lies in the phi constant plane what it means it means that this is the a suffix th theta uh, a suffix theta vector now this a suffix theta vector is here now this vector will be in normal to the conical now what is the conical surface the conical surface is the surface that i have already described this is the conical surface okay this is the conical surface now the a theta will be normal to the or orthogonal normal or orthogonal to the this conical to this very specific conical surface now in, in each point this conical surface is moving now that each and every in an each and every position of point p the a theta will be normal to this conical surface and lies in the phi constant plane what is the phi constant plane phi constant plane is in that vertical plane now that we have already described if this is the vertical plane right? now this this is the vertical plane yes this is the vertical in this it will be it will be lies in the vertical plane but it will be normal to the conical surface like this it will be it will be it will be residing on the vertical plane where phi is equal to constant but it will also be it is normal it is 
residing in that specific plane but it is normal to the conical surface now in case of unit factor a suffix phi is the same as in the cylindrical coordinate system it is normal to the phi is equal to constant plane and is tangent tangential to both the cone and the sphere it will be tangential to the conical surface and to the radial surface but it is normal to the phi constant vertical plane when suppose the, if if this vertical this is the vertical plane it will be normal it will goes it will be it will always be normal to that vertical plane it means if this vertical plane is along the xy axis then uh, the direction of a of x phi will be in accordance with the z axis which is basically normal to x and to both okay and the last one is the unit vectors are mutually perpendicular as we have already described this and forms a right handed set and rh screw when rotated from a of x r to a of x theta will move it towards a of x phi direction it basically means that if we take a cross product of a of x r and a of x theta we will get a vector which is in direction towards the a of x phi or if we take a cross product of theta and phi the resultant vector will be in the direction of a of x r and uh, similar for each and every uh, combination for each and every combination let's go to the next slide now these are the mathematical uh, representation of spherical coordinate a vector a in spherical coordinate system may be expressed as a of x r a of x r and this vector a can be described using uh, the vector the component along the r axis vector along the theta axis vector along the phi axis now if we take the summation of these three vector which are in different different uh, direction we will get the whole vector a these are the unit vectors of r theta phi direction and the magnitude will be same it will be the same in case of both the coordinate all the in case of all the coordinate system the magnitude of the vector will be uh, determined uh, by using the same process now the unit in case of unit vector as we know the unit vectors are mutually orthogonal the same result can be uh, can be found now if we take a dot product of r and r we get one now if we take a dot product of two different uh, unit vectors we will get the value of zero for each and every combination and the same thing will be available for cross product now if you take a cross product of r and theta we will get phi if we take a cross product of theta and phi we will get s of x r and as it goes okay so let's go to the next slide spherical coordinate system that we have already described that the value of r will be root over x square plus y square plus z square where r is greater than equal to 0 and the value of theta will be can be described using cos inverse 1 of the, uh, z uh, root over uh, root over x square plus y square plus z square if this value is divided by this value we get this and the value of theta will be in between 0 to pi it means 180 degree and the value of phi can be determined using the same process that we have also used to describe or determine the value of phi in circular cylindrical coordinate system in case of spherical coordinate system we use the same process now this point that we have already described that this point p has coordinates specified by r theta phi now we are going to describe how we have uh, come to this conclusion how we have you using the geometrical progression we will, we will understand the mathematical equations first this is this is the value of r this is the 3d structure of r which is making an angle of theta with uh, z axis now if we take a vector component of r along the z axis we will get the value of r cos theta and if we take a vector which is along the this this in this line along the this line we will get the value of r sin theta now this r sin theta this vector r sin theta is nothing but uh, can be described using this along this axis and along y axis this x axis along y axis this is r the r cos theta is along the z axis the r sin theta is along the this along this axis now if we decompose or if we take the two components of r sin theta 
along the x axis and along the y axis we will get the value of r along the x axis now this value is r sin theta now if we take a if we uh, if you have to find the value of r sin theta along the x axis what will do the value of r sin theta along the x axis will be r sin theta cos phi first we decompose the r vector along the z axis that value will be r cos theta the along the along this axis axis the value of r will be r sin theta now if we determine the value of r sin theta along the x axis it will be r sin theta cos phi uh, if we take r sin theta as a vector a suffix a suffix a, a suffix uh, a suffix z or a suffix b anything anything suppose r sin theta is b the value of r sin theta is b now the value of b along the x axis will be what will be b cos phi now if we put the value of b in this equation we will get, we will get r sin theta cos phi so along the y axis the value of r sin theta will be r sin theta r sin phi and we have already already uh, deducted the value of uh, z that will be r cos theta so these are the uh, mathematical uh, progression uh, by which we can determine the value of r sin theta determine the value of r along the x axis y axis and z axis so using 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 mathematical progression we have described how we can determine we can establish we have established the uh, relationship between the x axis with uh, between the x axis and r sin r, r theta and phi uh, axis and we have uh, uh, and as according to you we have also uh, established a relationship between y r theta and phi and also with z we have established a relation of r and theta so let's go to the next slide now using these equations we will we will describe the relation of different unit vectors and different vectors in uh, our, uh, cylindrical coordinate system and partition coordinate system now suppose this is a suffix x which is a unit vector along the x axis so the value of uh, a suffix r along the a suffix x axis basically the value of r along the x axis we have already uh, established the relation that is sin theta cos phi now if we have to uh, uh, establish a relation between a suffix x and a suffix theta now if we just go back to the drawing what we have we have this is theta and the we have already know the value theta this is theta it is along it is normal to the conical uh, surface and it is on the plane of uh, it is along the vertical plane where the phi is equal to constant so now if we uh, de uh, decompose the a, a suffix theta vector we get two components one one is along uh, if we take a vector what we will get yes we will get a value of cos theta cos phi along the a suffix x vector and we get a value of sin phi along the a suffix x vector now a suffix theta cos theta a suffix theta cos theta yes. a suffix theta cos theta will be in the direction of this now a suffix cos theta cos phi will be in the direction of a suffix x and a suffix sin theta will be in the direction of will be in the a suffix x sin this is this is a suffix if this is cos theta a suffix phi and sin theta a suffix phi is in the opposite direction and this is the a suffix theta cos theta which is in the direction of this line now a suffix phi cos theta cos phi will be in this direction and sin phi a suffix phi is we have already described from the circular cylindrical coordinate that 
the relation between a sub x x vector and a sub x phi vector uh, that ma, sin phi, si, uh, sin phi a sub x phi is in opposite uh, direction of a sub x x. That's how we have established this relationship. And the same process will be taken to describe the value of a sub x y along the sin theta sin phi. We have already established the relation in the earlier slide. This value. And we have described this value also cos theta sin phi a theta that a theta cos theta. Now if we take a in if we take a component along the y axis, what will we get? We will get a theta cos theta sin phi along the y axis and the plus cos phi a sub x phi that we have already described in the circular cylindrical system also in this system. Now the value of a sub x z is nothing but a sub x r cos theta and minus sin theta a theta minus sin theta a theta the vector a theta cos vector will be in this direction and the sin uh, sin sin uh, component will be in z in the opposite to the z direction because it is in this line basically that a sub x theta is in this direction that's why we get this vector and this vector. A suffix theta, if we take, if we have to determine the direction of a sub x theta vector a sub x theta vector it is in this line and it will be in this way it is in this line and the sign sign function of that vector the sign component of that vector will be in this direction and the cos the cos function or the cos vector will be in this direction of a sub x theta and that's why this will be minus sin theta a theta along the az axis and cos theta a theta will be in x a sub x, x direction and a sub x y direction we have sin phi okay so using all these things we can also describe these vectors and the relationship will also be established using the same process here So the same thing here and we can also describe it using the matrix format. The same process. We just have to uh, take a good look. Okay. Uh, that we have already described this constant coordinate surface, how it works. Now if x is equal to constant, if x is equal to constant, we get a uh, vector, uh, we get a plane which is parallel to x axis, uh, which is vertical to y axis. Now if y is equal to constant, y is equal to constant we get a value uh, we get a vector which is uh, parallel or which is uh, normal to x axis and if we have to uh, find the z constant z uh, if z constant we will get a we will get a plane which is parallel we will get a parallel plane and which is uh, normal to z axis the same thing uh, will be for uh, will be happening to constant coordinate surface of cylindrical system we have already described that and these are the pictorial depiction that if rho is constant we get a, a cylinder a circular cylinder surface if uh, phi if phi is constant we get a uh, vertical plane and if z is equal to constant we get a horizontal and the same thing is also here that if theta is constant if theta is constant we get a circular surface a spherical surface if r is constant we get a we get this kind of plane and if phi is constant we get the same vertical plane that is normal to y axis so we will uh, end our uh, uh, lecture today here and we will be starting the line integral and curl of vector different kind of uh, vector components that is required for electromagnetic theory we will going to discuss that in the upcoming lecture uh, yes thank you